So we're back again. My name is Robert, in case you don't know it. And today, I'm going to be reviewing this guy. It's a uh, Wild Game Innovations 30 gallon deer feeder. So, um, in case y'all are wondering, I do not have merch, but this is a shirt that I ordered and uh, basically I lease out this place, they lease it for dove hunting and turkey hunting. And so I just, basically a walking billboard. That's basically what I'm doing here. Uh, I just bought it just to advertise in my local town and stuff like that. So in case y'all are wondering, in case I get any questions, that's why it's there. But um, yeah, anyways, back to the video. So I'm gonna be reviewing this. It's a 30 gallon Wild Game Innovations um, deer corn feeder. Um, basically, it has four uh, feed times. You can set it to four different times of the day. Uh, the legs come in 12 pieces. It's a tripod. It, these are all three pieces. Each leg is three pieces. Um, it is a digital timer. The digital timer's um, pretty good. I actually haven't had any issues with it. I've had one, and I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, the solar panel, it's solar panel. Uh, it's not... Uh, compatible but instead of drilling a hole in my barrel basically what I did is I just bungeed the solar panel to the side of a leg and ran that uh, solar panel wiring through the back of the uh, digital timer and that's how I use it because I didn't want to drill a hole through the uh, the barrel because if moisture gets in there it's going to ruin the corn and it's going to get all full of mold so that's what I did there um, it does come with a little latch on top um, I just put a pin, that way the wind doesn't flap it up and down. But uh, I think it's six feet up, it's six feet high. It has uh, three pieces of legs, so you can actually bring it down lower if you want it to be at six feet, four feet, and you know, basically on the ground. Um, that's totally up to you. But overall, it's a good feeder. I've had this feeder for, for about three years. That's basically when I bought this property, I bought this guy. Uh, literally the only thing I could afford at the time so that's why I bought that um, price point so this thing I bought it for I want to say 109 or 88 dollars one of those two I think now they're going on Amazon for 79 dollars I think that's without the solar panel um, Walmart might have it for about 88 79 dollars as well I'll put a link in the description below um, if y'all want to check it out, it's an affiliate link for Amazon if y'all would like to purchase a feeder like this. I mean, like I said, it's a really good feeder. I personally use it. I've used it for about three years. And it's been it's been good to me. Um, the only issue I've had with this, I'll take y'all over here, is this thing right here. So on the negative, um, negative point here, it always has this, a lot of like little... I actually don't know what this is, but... That's what it gets. Um, other than that, it, I mean, it doesn't mess up anything. I mean, it still runs fine. The assembly on the on the feeder is about 20, 30 minutes. I think they advertise as 20 minutes. Um, they'll take you 20, 30 minutes. Um, definitely, if you're in an area like me where you have a lot of hogs, you definitely want to stake it down. Um, definitely, the hogs can definitely tip it over and you have corn everywhere. So definitely, if you have hogs, definitely stake it down for sure. Um, but yeah, um, here's that uh, solar panel I'll show you right now. It's actually this guy. Um, I've had this also for three years, and it's been good. It's also by Wild Game Innovations. And like I said, it, it's not actually compatible. It doesn't have a hole with like a little rubber seal on the, on the deal here. No hole or rubber seal. So what I did is I just bungeed it like this. And I've had it like that for three years, so it, it works. Um, this does have a a little ring come the the solar panel comes with the little ring on it um the feeder did not actually drill a hole through there to get it to work and then i just put um a little bit of uh caulking around it i don't know if you can see that i just put some caulking around here and glue and that's basically what i did for that um the legs on the feeder are galvanized and powder coated so they will resist rust to a point um, the reason, if y'all are wondering why these, this tape is here, I basically just put the legs together and I just um, taped them. That way water just can't go inside because I don't want it rusting on the inside. I'm actually not sure if it's uh, painted on the inside, I don't remember. But that's why the tape is there. 
I actually have not had any problems with the motor on this guy. The motor on this thing has been worked, it's worked flawlessly, I've had no issues. Um, I usually during hunting time I turn it up to 20 seconds, works fine. During non-hunting seasons I usually put it like 4 or 5 seconds, just to keep the deer coming. Um, but as far as the motor goes, it's a strong motor, it throws out the corn, it's, I think it's advertised at 30 feet. But it does it a little bit faster, I mean a little bit uh, farther than that, I'd say probably closer to 40 feet, 35. Um, it's been a good freaking uh, feeder, I mean shoot for about 100 bucks, it's a dang good feeder. So um, I actually have no complaints about it. It holds, if you're putting 40 or 50 pound bags, I think it's 4 or 5 bags of corn, depending if you're putting 40 or 50 pound bags. Um, but yeah. The motor is a 6 volt motor. Um, I think this is the first battery I've ever had on this. I don't think I've ever changed out that battery, honestly. I've had it for three years, never changed out that battery. It's been really good for me, really good to me, of course. I do have that solar panel on there, so that does help. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's been a good camera. I mean, a good, a good uh, feeder. It's pretty good on corn. It doesn't dispense overly over the amount of corn it's it lasts a very long time what the uh, I can kind of show you what the little digital uh, timer looks like here and here I'll show you that's the time to adjust the time feed time one duration is 10 I think it goes all the way up to let me see I'll show you here in a little bit it goes all the way up to 20 seconds I have it at 10 right now but it does have four feeding times. It goes up to 20 seconds. Um, it's good. It doesn't skip a whole lot of time. You know, I've had some feeders where you set the time and you come back to check it and it's gone up five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, this has been, this one has done, at least for me, it's done a good job of keeping track of time and accurately. So uh, definitely have to give it a thumbs up on that. Overall, this gets a thumbs up for me. It's a good feeder right at the price point at a hundred dollars good deal in my opinion um, I just want to say this video is not sponsored by wild game innovations I'm doing this on my own I have this feeder and I wanted to do a review video on it um, but I will leave an affiliate link in the, in the description below if y'all would like to go and purchase this feeder it's on Amazon for about seventy nine eighty dollars really good deal uh, I don't know how much that solar panel is running running around right now but uh, I'll probably definitely leave a description in the link as well. A link in the description below. And be sure to follow me on Facebook. It's at Carrasco Ranch. I post a lot about a lot, a lot of uh, deer stuff, uh, bird hunting stuff, turkey hunting stuff, anything I'm doing around the ranch. Um, basically, just updating on what's going on at the ranch. Um, also, Instagram, it's Carrasco underscore ranch. Uh, there it's basically just pictures of the ranch and things that I'm doing out here on the ranch as well So if y'all would like to follow me Definitely be appreciated. Peace out and guys don't forget to like share and subscribe if this video helped you out any Definitely help me uh, help me out share this video subscribe like it uh, It'll definitely help me out and uh, if y'all want to see anything y'all want me to review anything for y'all If I don't have it I can get it and uh, I can definitely review it. Um, I use a lot of stuff out here on the ranch basically Anything related to hunting or fishing?